So for your daily commuter, you might want to consider getting an electric car. And especially if you go back and forth to the city and you want to get some parking, you might want to consider getting a small electric car. But for most of you in the US, you're thinking then Tesla Model 3. But if you live in Europe, there are some far better alternatives. As an example, you can get something like this, the Renault Twizy. It's a small two-seater car from Renault that was launched in 2012 and that is sort of made for a city commute. It's super narrow and it's very uh, small. I'm not a huge person and as you can see, it's, it's not big. It comes with an, a couple of different configurations, this one being the larger battery um, and it takes you around 80 kilometers on a full charge. A full charge which you get from just plugging it in to your regular wall connector. It should have a hatch here but they break all the time so I just leave that sort of open. So the twisty comes with a couple of quirks. The most obvious ones are potentially the doors. So from factory these cars actually come without any doors at all. Instead you get dual sort of seat belts and you can just look at on the road. If you want to you could spec the doors as an optional extra but it does not give you any windows. So these windows are off the market but they are actually from Renault but Renault in Korea where this car is super popular being almost the same size as a regular K car. Back to the doors then. There's one more thing with them that I think is really cool and it's the cheapest car you can get with these doors and that's it has the same kind of doors as a super expensive Lamborghini. It's not as flashy though. Even though you might look at this car and think that it's only for one person, it actually seats two. You do not sit side by side, but you rather sit behind each other. So if you want to go in back in here, usually you go from the other side, but you climb in, <laughs> it's not big. And you find yourself here in the back seat. It doesn't have that much space and this is where you want to put your luggage if you are going somewhere. But you can if you want to. And talking about sports cars as the Lamborghini, another thing you get here is the center driving position as the McLaren F1. Just kidding. Well, you do get that one, but that's as close as a similarity as you get. But you do get this amazing view when you drive it. It just makes you feel like you're one with the car and it feels just as a go-kart. So funny doors aside, that's not why you're getting one of these cars. It's rather because of its size. Being short, being narrow, it means you can park it virtually anywhere. It goes into sp spots that no other car does, meaning it's quite easy to find those spots in the city. I've gone into the city with this a couple of times and I never spent more than a couple of minutes searching for a parking spot. In my other cars, it might take up to an hour. But you also buy them because they're cheap. They're quite cheap to buy, they're cheap to insure, and they're cheap to run due to that sort of electrical power unit. And since they are small, they are also not that heavy. It weighs around 450 kilos, and you need to do the math yourself if you're in the US. That means it doesn't need that much energy to actually go somewhere, which means it charges up very quickly. It also means that it's super fun to drive. This specific example is actually my daily commuter. So when I don't go into the city or go anywhere with one of the Porsches, I use this. And I've done a couple of smaller things to it since I got it. I put on the windows. I've also given it a wrap. I did that myself. So you might not see it on the camera, but there are some minor things that I wished I'd done differently. But mainly I've given it a tune. So I bought this electrical box from a guy in Norway that made it possible for me to not only tune the engine, but also tune the brakes. So it comes with a mod that you can actually tune how much the brakes are regenerating, 
how they are working, but also how quick it accelerates. So you can select if you want to brake pedal to insulin, just this give you almost like a sporty, like a sports car brake feel, or if you just want it to roll. You can also say if you want it to um, automatically brake when you lift up the throttle, or if you want it to just continue rolling forward, just as you can do in any modern sort of electrical car today. Did not come as that from, from factory, but I think that little mod for 400 euros gave it so much more of a modern feel. Because this car is actually from 2012. It's the press car that Renault used here in Sweden. And a friend of mine drove it the first day and he said it was one of the best or funniest cars he ever driven. And I can agree with him. It's very fun. It's not as emotional as one of the Porsches, but it's super, super funny as a go-kart is. But with that said, I think it's time that we take it for a little spin. So driving the Twisty, you're in this little cocoon. It's not the quietest, nor is it maybe the most comfortable drive, but it's not bad. Especially not if you consider that a lot of the time you actually just go bumper to bumper traffic. But the thing with it is, is this, right? The go-kart feeling. And especially now when the car is in sort of the most aggressive of the stages for the tune. There's like echo, normal, and I now have it in sport. It's not super quick, but it's, I promise you that it's quicker than your Volkswagen Polo or something like that off the line, then it slows down. But one of the things that this car has, it's on the dash, you get this little pointer with three sort of steps. And that shows you how much energy you're using. Step one is sort of just a little bit of gas, but you can actually creep away and stay quite high speeds on that first one. Second one, of course, draining your battery a little bit more. And the third, well, they will not get those 80 kilometers that was promised. But you also get this, so if when you step on the brakes, you also get this little arrow showing that the regen is happening. So that also, of course, applies if you're running the regen when you lift up the throttle. But otherwise, it's just a regular car, just small, but I dare you to drive one of these and not feel as you want to just find the apex and cut the corners in the perfect way. But usually I just go around like this, potting into the city. But once in a while, you just want to have some fun. Should not maybe try to overtake here. But it's super, super fun. So, I'm actually gonna leave you at that. I think if you are considering getting a small car for your commute, and if you can get a Twissy, do so. It's such a fun drive for the money, and it's so cheap to run, to own, and to drive it into the cities. Because that's what it's for. It's a city car. Not something you may be buying if you're living on the countryside. It tops 80 kilometers an hour, but with the tune, you can do 120. Until I see you next time, bye.